hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping in with me today i hope everyone is well all right you guys so this is another collective read so this can go for all zodiac signs um take what resonates you guys and leave the rest flip out the energies around i can be saying he it could be she i can be saying she, it could be he, you guys already know how this goes, all right? Only take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is not your story, and this is just not your story, all right, you guys? So first card out, we have expectation, all right? So somebody's expecting something. Somebody here may be waiting um, for something or maybe waiting for someone, but there's an energy here of expecting something, all right? Somebody may be sitting on the couch by a window, just looking out the window, just expecting for somebody to come or for somebody to show up or something like that is what I'm getting here. All right. All right, spirit. Messages for the collective, please. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Thank you. So we have the wealthy man, all right? Some of you guys can be dealing with someone um, who is very wealthy. This could be a CEO. This can be a boss. Hmm. Very handsome, too. The initial C or M can be very significant to someone here. Hmm. The numbers 13 or 28 can be very significant. All right. Let's see, let's see. All right. We have mature woman here. And we have great fortune. All right, you guys. So let's see. Let's see what's going on, you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have bad health. All right. Somebody could be stressed out, maybe, about the situation. Um, or someone's health could be declining here. Hmm. All right, Spirit, tell me the energy around this expectation. Tell me the energy around this expectation, please, Spirit. About this expectation, we have the star, all right, various energy, king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Clarify about this expectation, please, spirit. Maybe you guys are waiting for somebody to come back. Maybe you guys are wondering if someone has healed and as. I was saying that we have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups, all right? Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups energy. Maybe you guys are wondering if this person that you are expecting to show up has done the work, has healed, all right? Um, there could have been some heartache and some pain that someone here may be getting over at the time. Someone here could have just been resting, and like I said, getting over some type of heartache and pain, possibly from a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. Um, or maybe just something that happened in the past between the two of you that caused a lot of heartache and pain. Um, but I feel like someone here is waiting, you know, expecting for someone to come back. And it's just kind of like you wonder if the person's done the work. You wonder if this person has healed. All right. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I do see someone coming in to make some type of romantic offer. Someone here may want to share their feelings and their emotions um, towards you. This can be some type of proposal that someone may be coming in to make towards you. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and we have Aquarius energy and we have more air energy out here. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yeah. All right, so let's see. There could have been an ending, death at the um, bottom of the deck. Yeah, something could have ended in the past between you and this person. And I really feel like you guys have just been waiting and waiting and waiting, you know, um, for this person to come back, all right? Maybe this is you guys that have taken the time to rest and to heal after going through this very painful ending and this heartbreak. And um, now you guys are waiting for this person to come in, which I see there is somebody that's getting ready to come in. We have the Queen of Wands energy here, all right? So with fire energy hmm queen of wands is someone who is very you know um the queen of wands is someone who you know is very determined she's very passionate about the things that she cares about and that she's loved she's very um goal oriented um the queen of wands is someone who just like does not take any mess at all right she's sitting here on her throne you know with her wand and she's looking beautiful you know very beautiful the queen of wands is very very beautiful and this i feel like someone can view you as someone that's very powerful very very beautiful someone who just doesn't take any mess at all all right all right we have the judgment here so there's a decision um that someone is making okay we have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck possibly maybe about having a new beginning all right let's see here spirit clarify this wealthy man Clarify this wealthy man. Thank you. We have the Eight of Cups. Huh. I feel like some of you guys are making the decision to walk away from a situation. This could have been a situation that you could have been in for, you know, eight years, eight months, eight weeks, whatever the case may be. But um, somebody here is making the decision to walk away from a situation because they feel like it's no longer serving them. And I feel like with this Queen of Wands energy here, this is someone who is like what she says is what she says and what she means. So I feel like you guys are not backing down from this decision that you have made when it comes to this wealthy man. So with this wealthy man, um, you know, this can be anybody, but yeah, you guys are, it's, it's, I'm feeling like you guys are not bagging down from a decision that you have made. All right. We have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, cancer energy. Yeah, I, I think you guys are moving away from this offer. You guys are moving on. Like, I feel like somebody just doesn't want this anymore. Spirit, what's this mature woman? Clarify this mature woman here, please, Spirit. All right, we got the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands energy here. So... Definitely someone from your past may be taking action towards you, um, wanting to communicate. Um, this can be back and forth text messages, phone calls, or this can be somebody popping up at your house. But um, definitely somebody from your past wants to reconcile. They want to make things right. Um, Earth energy. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And that's what I was getting ready to say with this wealthy man. This could be um, an Earth sign here that you guys are dealing with. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Maybe they have Earth in their chart. But I feel like this, this person... Um, is getting ready to take some type of action towards you. They can see you as someone who has grown, somebody who's very mature. Um, you know, it's just like this person views you as very like, you know, just, you know, very mature in how you speak and how you act. Um, but they, they want to come back. They want to reconcile. So I feel like this person is getting ready to send you a message. Okay, 
Um, it can be back and forth communication, like text messages, text, texting, you know, phone calls, emails, whatever the case may be. Yeah, because it, it ended. Something with this person ended in the past. All right. This could have been a very strong connection that you had with this person. It could have been a lot of love that the two of you shared together. But I feel like something here is getting ready to change with the Wheel of Fortune. That is destiny. It was, I, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the death card here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is an, um, that things changed and caused this ending, all right, in the past. And I feel like this definitely was fated to happen, okay? Whatever caused this ending, I feel like it, it happened for a reason, okay? All right, Spirit, tell me what this great fortune is. What is this? Uh-oh. Spirit, what is this great fortune here? All right, we got the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So more water energy here. Somebody wants to offer you a new beginning, all right? They're going to message you. Um, this person could be younger than you. doesn't necessarily have to be. But I feel like this person wants to apologize for whatever it is that happened in the past that caused this ending, all right? That caused this heartache and that caused this pain. Because this person is definitely reaching out because they want to have a new beginning with you. I feel like this person feels like with the great fortune that you guys can have everything together like the two of you together is, is I'm feeling like a power couple kind of energy here with the hierophant on the bottom of the deck yeah this can be a very sp um, strong spiritual connection that you guys have with this person um, so this can be a soulmate that you are dealing with you guys could have shared a past life together all right this person could have could be obsessed with you with the devil card or either this person um may have some type of addictions or very bad habits all right that you guys are aware of um but somebody's feeling stuck all right with the eight of swords It's like a mental entrapment. Like somebody here is constantly in their head thinking about a situation or maybe just thinking about how inconsistent this person was with the Knight of Wands energy. Like this person could have been very inconsistent, could have been in and out of your life. This person could have been a player. They could have put you in third party situations. It's like one minute they're here, the next minute they're not. Like, do you just want sex? Do you really love me? I don't know. Like, where are you going? You're never around kind of energy so I feel like you guys are like really in your head just thinking and thinking and feeling stuck because it's like you know that this person you know was very inconsistent and they were not giving you what you needed in the past so I feel like you guys are just like you know I don't are, are they just coming back in for the same thing with the ace of wands it's like I don't know like you guys are feeling stuck here because you don't know what to think when this person reaches out to you and they message you. I feel like it's definitely going to catch you guys by surprise, all right, because you weren't expecting this or maybe you guys were expecting this with the expectation, like something maybe you guys can feel this person's energy, you know, coming towards you because we did see the Hierophant. So this can, like I said, can be a very strong soul connection that you have with this person. So like I said, maybe you guys can feel that this person is getting ready to come in and make you some type of offer here. All right, Spirit, let's see. Spirit, what is the star card here? So with the, the four of swords and the star card, there's a lot of healing that you guys have went through in the past or maybe even presently still trying to heal from this um, past situation that you went through with this person. Because I feel like it caused you guys, I'm sorry, excuse me, it caused you guys a lot of heartache and a lot of pain, all right? Um, and it took you a while to heal and get yourself, you know, back together after this, all right? So, 
we have the ten of wands energy fire energy all right um you guys had to let this go all right there was it was just too much of a burden for you all right i feel like a lot of you guys felt like um lovers at the bottom of the deck that there was something that was coming in between you guys this relationship once again very strong soul connection with the angels here watching over these two you guys can be twins if you're um if you guys are on the twin flame journey this can be your twin that you are experiencing this with but there was a choice that was made. And with this snake here, I feel like there was something that was constantly tempting your person, that was catching your person's attention. And that's why this person was constantly in and out of your life, not able to give give themselves the, you know, you 100% of themselves. Like, it was too much of a burden for you guys with the Ten of Wands. So you guys released it. You guys dropped it. It was just too much. You guys felt like that you were in this relationship, situationship, or whatever the case may be by yourself. And it was just like, okay, like... I feel like I'm I'm doing everything by myself. I feel like I'm not getting any help. I feel like, you know, you're not fighting for this with me. And you guys were just like, you know what? I'm just going to release this. And I'm going to take some time out to heal and get myself together. Because it's it's like, I, I feel like there was something that was constantly coming in between this connection with you and your person. And like I said, it could have been a third party situation. All right. It could have been some type of addictions, um, sex, money, drugs alcohol whatever the case may be but somebody here made a choice and I feel like the choices that were made when it came to this situation is what end up causing this breakup in the past spirit tell me about this four tell me about this four of swords that was the queen of pentacles that tried to pop out there so uh, for some of you guys, you could have found out that this person was married. All right. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you guys were tired of being juggled. You were tired of this person going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you were just like, no, this is just like too much and I can't do this. So like I said, once again, you guys release this burden and you pull back your energy. You took the time to heal after this heartache and this pain to get yourself back together. And now here this person comes again. They want a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith. You know, they want to see where this can go now and I feel like you guys were already expecting for this to happen I don't know if this is like something that this person does all the time if it's like okay you guys break up and you heal and it's just like okay once you're healing and you're like kind of like over this person it's like bam here they come again you know what I'm saying now they want a fresh start now they want a new beginning or whatever the case may be and I feel like you guys like I said a lot of you guys can definitely feel this person's energy coming towards you and that's why you are just expecting for them to show up or to call you or whatever the case may be ten of cups you guys love each other all right um you guys definitely love each other, but this person is coming in to make some type of romantic gesture towards you. Um, they may try to sweet talk you a little bit, you know, just, you know, just telling you all the right things that you want to hear just to see if they can get you back, you know, to a place where you guys can try to heal this situation together and to move forward. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but this person is coming in to tell you that they love you, you know, that they love you and they want to be with you. The Ten of Cups is that happily ever after, happy life, happy wife, happy husband, happy kids, you know, the house and everything is just beautiful. And I feel like this is what this person's motive is. They want to come in. They want to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you that they see forever with you. They want to have this fresh start with you. They want to make things fair with the justice at the bottom of the deck here spirit tell me about this queen of wands please tell me about this queen of wands energy 
we have the three of pentacles. So I feel like uh, we got the five of wands at the bottom of the deck with the queen of pentacles. You guys may, there may be some type of argument or, com or, or conflict. Or maybe I feel like is this person may be arguing and fighting and having a lot of disagreements with this queen of pentacles and maybe this queen of pentacles has turned her back towards this person because we have the king of pentacles here so are they having a lot of arguing and fighting and disagreements maybe this can be uh because of you are they arguing and fighting over you okay um but this person wants to work on things with you with the three of pentacles. They want to rebuild this. I feel like this person wants to dot their I's and cross their T's this time around. They want to make sure that, you know, this time around that there's nothing that can come in between the two of you guys. And I feel like you're standing very strong and firm. So I feel like this person knows when they come towards you this time. It's like they know that you are not putting up with any bull crap at all. It's just like you're not putting up with it. You know, it's like whatever it is that I say, how things are going to go, this is how things are going to go. Like, I'm not going to allow you back in to do the same things that you have done to me previously in the past. Like, I'm not like you're not going to take me, you know, back there again. Or you guys can end up having some type of, you know, c conflict about, you know, um back and forth about like okay well you're married like you know what i'm saying like you was in a whole marriage you didn't even tell me you were married or you know you kept me as a third party like do you know how that hurt me when i found out that you were married or you guys may be having some type of back and forth com conflict about that like where what about your wife like are you still married like are you divorced or where's the papers show me because i'm not just going to let you come back in and you still are connected to someone else like no we're not doing that. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Pentacles here, please. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please. Thank you. This person is in love with you. This person knows that, you know, you are their person. You are their soulmate. And they want to work on this together. They want to build this relationship with you. They feel like this can be equal, give or take. But it's going to, I feel like there's going to be some obstacles and there's going to be some challenges because of what you previously went through with this person. But this is definitely a very strong soul connection that you have with this person. Um, They can be walking away from a situation all right yeah they can be walking away from a marriage with the higher fan and the eight of cups this person can be leaving a marriage all right so they can be in the process of getting a divorce or they could have gotten a divorce already and that's why this person is now wanting to come back and finalize things with you because this person sees you as their forever person this person sees you as their soulmate okay they understand this connection now maybe before they didn't understand how you know they knew that they had these strong feelings for you and they knew that it was a reason why they always kept coming back to you but maybe they didn't fully understand this connection and I feel like now now this person really understands this connection so it's like nothing is holding them back now because if they're walking away from a marriage then that means that there's no more third parties there's nothing that can stand in this person's way spirit what is this judgment here what is this judgment here spirit <clears throat> we have the two of wands all right. So somebody has made a final decision to leave something in the past and now they're making plans for their future. And I feel like that you are their future. All right. They're leaving something in the past. All right. Um, somebody here could be trying to hold on to this person, the person that they are walking away from, whomever they are married to. They can be trying to hold on to this person or this is your this is your person. Yeah, no, I really feel like it's the Queen of Pentacles that's trying to hold on to this person. And it's, yeah, see, see, 
is causing a lot of arguing and fighting. It's like, I feel like this person is just completely tired of arguing and fighting with this queen of pentacles. It's like enough is enough. It's like this person is trying to hold on to, you know, them for them not coming towards you, but it's over with, it's done with. They don't want any. They, they've they already made their decision, judgment. They made their final call. It's over with, it's done. They're tired of arguing and fighting with this person. They're walking away from this person. They don't want to. And this person is trying to hold on to them. They're trying to hold on to them. But it's like it's, it's like this person is just like, no, I'm done. I don't want this anymore. I know exactly where it is that I want to be. Like, you know, that's why I said they're making plans. This person is making plans. They've already planned to leave this person in the past and come towards you. Some of you guys may live like at a distance from this person or maybe like on a whole nother, you know, a, another country or another state or whatever the case may be. It doesn't have to be, but they've already made plans to leave this person in behind because they're tired of arguing and fighting with this person. There's nothing there anymore. Eight of Cups energy. They're walking away. They feel like the love is gone. Yeah, there could have been a lot of love in this situation in the past, of course, because they were married to this person, but they feel like it's, it, it's, it's just nothing there for them anymore they don't feel complete okay and that's where they're walking away spirit tell me about this eight of cups energy tell me about this eight of cups they're walking away to come and offer you this new beginning period they're walking away they don't want yeah this person could have been very unclear. They could have been at a crossroads, not very clear, not being able to see things, you know, very clear in the past. But I feel like this person knows that they can have a stable home with you. This person knows that you are very stable. This person knows, you know, I feel like they, they could have been unclear about this union in the past. You know, like not knowing that things could work out between the two of you because of everything that they put you through in the past. But I feel like this person is um, finally out of this energy. Yeah, this person was in hermit. All right. They went within. They did some soul searching. They had to, you know, um, they were searching for some answers, you know. So I feel like why this person, why you and this person were separated and you guys were not communicating, this person was in hermit. They were trying to figure out some things. They were doing some deep soul searching and reflecting on this situation with you. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Wands here. So now here they are reaching out to you, taking action. Yeah, they're really in a fight for this. Empress energy. This is here with the mature woman. They see you as somebody very mature, somebody who's very beautiful. Some of you guys can be pregnant. All right. Some of you guys can actually be pregnant. Or maybe finding out that you're pregnant. But you guys are the empress. The empress embodies all the energy of all the queens. There is no, you, you don't get any better than the empress, all right? So they are definitely wanting to fight for you, all right? And that's why this person is reaching out to you. That's why they're going to message you. They're going to call you. They're going to pop up at your house. This person is taking action towards you because they're not, yeah, they're coming in hot and passionate too. This person is very sexually attracted to you. Very, very sexually attracted to you. Whomever this is that this person is leaving behind, this person can have a drinking problem. Like, they can drink a lot, okay? Yeah. Spirit, what is this Six of Cups? What's this Six of Cups? They feel sad. They feel regretful. They feel really bad for hurting you, all right? This person could actually have cried many of nights about the things that they did to you and how they sabotaged this connection in the past with the five of cups yeah this person is they they definitely do because they love you and i feel like this person if they feel like you are going to reject them like they may have missed the opportunity 
with you but this person has a lot of love for you and they're sad and they regret you know how they hurt you in the past and that's why this person is coming back to make things right with you spirit tell me about this king of pentacles here tell me about this king of pentacles here please tell me about this king of pentacles here please mm -mm. We got the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So, I feel like this person knows that you have a lot of love for them. They do. They do. And um, with the Knight of Pentacles, that's a stagnant energy. That's someone who is, you know, not making any moves not coming towards you to make any offers and it could have been because this queen of cups could have been trying to keep this person stuck this could have been somebody that they had a child with all right um yeah this is definitely giving me mother energy with the Queen of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles. They could have been stuck on this person in the past. And that's why they didn't come towards you. Definitely. This person could have had them stuck. It could have been about kids or something. Maybe they stayed with this person in the past for the children. Got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, they could have been taking care of this person. You know, this is this King of Pentacles, I feel like, was taking care of this Queen of Cups also. Um, yes, definitely. As I said, that the Six of Pentacles came out. Yeah. They, 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 they were very, I feel like this queen of cups energy here, um, I feel like they did have children with this person and they could have been like the breadwinner and they could have been, had a lot of responsibilities when it came to this connection that they are currently walking away from, um, this person could have depended on this person to take care of them and take care of the children. So, like I said, a very codependent relationship. And that's what was keeping them stuck. But I feel like now this person is like, you know what? F that. I don't even care. I don't even care about none of that. I don't want to be here anymore. I'll still take care of the children. I'll still do whatever it is that I need to do. But I'm going towards my love. I'm going towards my soulmate. I'm going towards my twin. I'm going towards the person that I see me being happily ever after with. The person that I should be married to. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And that's why they're coming in to offer you this new beginning. Spirit, what's this Ace of Cups here? What's this Ace of Cups here, Spirit? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you guys are, you know, when this person comes in and they offer you this new beginning, I feel like you guys are, you're, you're like, we need to talk. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this wife. We need to take talk about this baby mom. We need to talk about this. Like, did you cut her off? Are you still with her? Like, what's going on with this situation? Before we jump into anything, I need to know what is going on. You know, and I feel like that's a conversation that you guys are definitely needing to have. Yes, so that you guys can move forward with the chariot. And I feel like they're going to tell you that they have moved on from this person. Like, there's nothing else there. Like, they don't want to be with them. You know, yes, they have responsibilities when it comes to this past situation, like with kids or whatever the case may be. Maybe they're still responsible for, you know, there's some um, bills, certain bills or something like that, that they made a promise to pay or to do or whatever the case may be. But other than that, 
I feel like this person is letting you know, like, no, I've moved on from that. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want that. That's not who I want. I'm here to have this new beginning with you. You are the person that I want to be with. I took the time. I finally realized what I did wrong. I realized who you are to me. I understand how much I love you and I understand how much you love me. I understand that I hurt you in the past. I get it now and I apologize and I'm sorry. Can we please start all over again? I realize what I did wrong to you. Can you please just give me another chance? Spirit, what's this page of cups here? This person, did your person drink? Okay, they may be, they may, this person has a lot of love for you. For some of you guys, this person has a lot of love for you. Or so, for some of you guys, this person may feel like they need to get the courage up. So this person may be drunk when they text you. All right. This person could drink a lot and they may like be like, OK, maybe they need to get the courage up to even send you a message. So this person could be drinking a lot. Because this person is in like a lot of sad and regretful energy because of how they did you in the past. All right. Spirit, tell me about this night because but you are this person's wish fulfillment. It's like this person loves you. Yes. As I said that, look at that. You guys, I can't make this stuff up. Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Cups. They, you're this person's wish fulfillment. They want to have this new beginning with you. It's like this person doesn't, they don't, they could be just waiting for the right time. You know, to pursue you with the page who wants to message you to say something to you like, yeah, but you guys are already expecting this. You guys already know that this person is getting, it's like I said, because this is such a strong connection. You guys feel this person's energy getting closer and closer and closer to you. Now it's just confirmed here with this reading that what you are expecting and what you are feeling, those feelings are very so much real. All right, Spirit, tell me about this devil card here. This person's obsessed with you. They are. This person is in love with you. It's like it took you to pull your energy away, you know, for them to realize. And then, I mean, in this situation that they were in over here that they're walking away from, it's like all they do is argue and fight, argue and fight, argue and fight, argue and fight. And it's like this person is like, no, like I'm not like I, I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. Spirit, tell me about this devil. They like, no. Like, I'm not happy here. I'm not happy here. It's time for me to go. We have the Eight of Swords. This person can't get you out of their head. Bottom of the deck. Here's your Emperor. This person has grown. This person has matured. This person has leveled up. This person is not the same person that they used to be. And Spirit is saying, yes, that's the truth. They want to tell you the truth. You know, this, this person has definitely grown. You make this person happy, all right? You make this person happy. All right, let's see something here, you guys. Yes, beautiful weed. So, yes, just expect some messages, expect some phone calls, expect this person to pop up at your house. Like I said, for some of you guys, this person may be trying to get the courage up to message you. So, they may be drinking a lot. So, this can be like a drunk message that comes through. But at the end of the day, this person's intentions towards you are real. Like, whatever they did in the past or whatever it was in the past with this situation, things are different now. This person has leveled up. Up. You have the emperor and the empress right here. This is definitely your counterpart. This is definitely the person that you are supposed to be with. All right. Spirit, give me a message here. Give me two messages here for the collective, please. Two messages here for the collective. Uh -oh. Two messages here for the collective, please. Show the world the real you. So I don't know. Are some of you guys have some type of business or something that you guys are doing um, or whatever the case may be? Maybe you guys may be like scared to show your face or maybe you guys, um, you know, um, 
are hiding behind something that you are doing or you are working on. Maybe you're scared of what people might say or think about you. But Spirit is telling you to show the world the real you. All right? Show them the real you. Emotions are running high. So you and your person can be very emotional at this time. And I feel like you're emotional because you feel this person's energy coming towards you. And you can be kind of scared because you don't know what to expect because of how this person treated you in the past and all the heartache and pain that you went through when it came to this situation. And your person's emotions could be running high because they're sad and they regret and they don't know if you're going to reject them if you're going to turn them back around at the door if they're going to even if if they should you know they, they don't know if this is going to turn out the way that they plan for it to turn out and you know so both of you guys have a lot of emotions right now that are running high luck is on your side at the bottom of the deck all right let's get a couple of messages here Messages. Oh, let's see. Messages for the collective, Holy Spirit. All right, we have enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. All right, you guys. All right. What other messages do we have for the collective here today, Spirit? Thank you. Law of Attraction. We attract what we are. Use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being the perfect match to yourself first. So you guys have pulled this person in by you disconnecting, pulling back your energy, doing the work to heal and to set boundaries and to understand your worth. I feel like that's what called your person back in. All right. Law of attraction. When you love yourself, you you um, manifest people to come in and to people see you, you know, as um a person that respects herself and that loves herself and this person knows that you know you have elevated into this emperor energy which they have elevated into this emperor energy so you know this person knows that you're very mature and that you respect yourself so now this person is coming into you on a whole totally different level than what they previously did you understand what i mean disharmony all right there seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues to restore harmony in this relationship. Yeah, because you guys are, you know, you guys are scared. You guys are, you know, um, very emotional about this right now because you guys just don't want to be hurt again. It's like you love this person. You want to trust this person. You want this relationship. You know that this is your person. This connection is just so strong, but it's like, can I really trust you? Like, what about your wife? What about your baby mom? What about like, what is going on? Like you guys really need to know. So Spirit is saying this is the time for you to, you know, speak about this, you know, before you jump in to anything with this person ask the questions get the answers that you need to make sure that this is right for you this time all right reconciliation all right you guys be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out all right yes one more message here spirit one more message please One more message for you, sir. Thank you. Annoyance. You or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off. Avoid more arguments. Yeah, so I feel like this is I feel like this is your person with whomever it is that they are walking away with. They're very annoyed with this person right now. Like, and you know, it's like they're walking away because they're tired of arguing with this person. They're very annoyed. They don't want to talk to them. They don't have anything to say to them. Their mind is set on you. All right. Their focus is set on you and this new beginning that they want with you. And it's just like this person is annoying the hell out of them right now. It's, they are just like, 
you know what? I don't. I can't do this anymore. They are like really annoyed at this point in time. It's like they just want to get away from them to come to you. That's it. That's it. It's like they don't want to to say. They don't have anything to say to them. They're tired of arguing and fighting. Um, we have accountability. Someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you, your partner, or both of you. Acknowledging the effect, uh, uh, acknowledging the effect of your behaviors allows you to move forward. So spirit is saying that you know whomever here needs to be held accountability held accountable for their actions needs to speak on it and be held accountable for their actions so whatever it is that your person does did spirit is making them come towards you and be accountable you know for their take accountability for the things that they did in the past to you so apologizing to you keeping things real with you letting you know what really happened and what went wrong and what they you know went through or whatever Whatever the case may be, spirit is making this person have accountability and, you know, speak to you and let you know, like, I feel like spirit has pushed this person and let this person know, like, when you go back, like, you're going to have to take accountability. You're going to have to be for real. Like, you owe this person an apology. You have to be real with this person. Watch out. All right. This is a warning message. Beware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. So there's someone, uh, this uh, this past person, baby mama, wife, whatever the case may be. It could be friends. Um, this can be, you know, um, um, energies or whatever the case may be. But something is trying to stay in, stand in the way of this connection, but I feel like it's not going to succeed. It's just not going to happen. So whomever it is and whatever it is that is trying to come in the way so that you guys cannot have this union together, it's not going to work. It's just not. It's not going to work. All right. Final shot at the bottom of the deck. Now is the time. The, to the clock is clicking ticking if you never shot your shot then you will always wonder what if so spirit is letting this person know like this is your final shot it's now or never if you don't go in now to talk to this person to make things right with this person you're never going to get this opportunity again period you're not going to get this opportunity again all right you guys so this is the message that i have for you I hope that this message resonated. I hope that this message is able to help. Um, if you guys are not 